Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Great Britain provides uh, Ukraine with more missiles, but hey, do not look at that as uh, being a direct involvement in the hostilities between Ukraine and Russia, okay? And why is that? Uh, because you're not supposed to, okay? So let's see what the uh, UK gives, or you guys from United Kingdom. Anyway, this article comes from the voice, the new voice of Ukraine. It is from today, December 18th, 2022. UK confirms providing Ukraine with Brimston 2 missiles. And I'm quoting, as part of its aid package, the UK has provided Brimston 2 missiles, a precision guided missile to the Ukrainian armed forces. The message read, or read, how many I would like to know. Uh, UK media reported the transfer of these missiles as early as the end of November. Hmm, okay. Brimstone 2 is a modernized version of the original Brimstone missile. The new missile has an improved millimeter wave M MV seeker technology, a more modular design and improvements to airfare, airframe and software. When launched from the air, the missile has a range of up to 60 kilometers or 37 miles. It is possible to launch it from the ground. In this case, the missile ranges, uh, range, <coughs> range, excuse me, is up to 12 kilometers, which is 7.7 .7 miles. I think I, uh, if I use my slingshot, I can use, hit that far. Brimstone 2 is a ground attack missile. It's uh, reactive radar allows it to track and hit even moving targets. It has a pre-charge of 100 grams of explosive to trigger the reactive armor of Russian tanks and a 6.2 kilogram main warhead to defeat the tank's main armor. Okay, so that's what it is. It is ready to blow up <coughs> Russian tanks or whomever. Um, not direct participant in the hostilities. I give them weapons to kill you, but don't hit me, okay? Because I'm not actively doing anything but helping them to kill you. That's how the story goes. Uh, such a uh, weasel move, but hey, what do you want? I, um, I saw an, um, an article earlier, and uh, that article was talking about the Russian reaction to the Great Britain um, arming Ukraine, and they were talking about uh, using some uh, uh, napalm kind of uh, weapons for for Great Britain. I don't know, that's crazy, but um, as I stated many times before, under the circumstances, any normal logical person would consider anybody who provides my enemy with weapons to kill me and fight me and win against me, I would consider those guys straight enemies. But, you know, sometimes you don't want to uh, expand, uh, you know, the operation because you, I mean, what, are you going to say, okay, everybody, listen up, you're all guilty, you're all my enemies, I'm going to do what? Blow you up? How? I can't, uh, you know, I agree that in a conventional war, Russia, I would think, doesn't have much chance against the rest of the Europe and the United States, uh, and Canada, and everybody else who's gonna jump in the frenzy of fighting the Russians uh, <coughs> legally, uh, so up, up front. But remember, Russia always can uh, end up using uh, its nuclear arsenal as everybody else who uh, has it. So uh, that would be crazy. That's why I think the Russians don't wanna consider them direct targets, like what, hitting London or something, because that's, there's not gonna be a you know, point of return after that. What are you gonna do? If you attack a target in Great Britain, or I mean, Great Britain is, um, to be honest, it's uh, you know, pretty small. You don't need uh, too much to make sure that that's going to be flat. I'm just being honest. I mean, yeah, Great Britain has about what 200 uh, nuclear weapons and so on. And okay, yeah, you can do a lot of damage to Russia. You can flatten up a lot of uh, territory in Russia, but you're done. And uh, remember, you're not going to do that because that means everybody is going to do whatever they do best, which is uh, attack other, other countries. So 
that's not that's not an option probably that's why the russians do not uh, they say yeah you're participants you're participants you're participants because they hope in the future when things will uh, calm down if they will calm down in a certain way uh, and they will still have a voice they will say yeah 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 but look what you did you know because a lot of fingers will will be pointed towards russia and they will say well uh, you are responsible for blowing up uh, targets villain targets in i was about to say china uh, kiev <laughs> or in uh, you know other uh, well, other cities in um, Ukraine and the damage is of whatever and they come with a little uh, I don't know 600 billion dollars right now they estimate about 500 billion dollars so I'm just you know so Russia will say yeah yeah okay you say that but let me tell you this look what damage you did to us and they're gonna come with their list and then the list will say yeah and by the way those damages those uh, you know um, th that destruction was done with the Western weapons that they supplied so therefore they are guilty of that so they owe us Probably that's gonna be the the process of uh, yeah yeah you're guilty you're guilty I don't do anything about it but if time comes in the future which I'm pretty sure they think about the future right um, a few steps moves ahead they will say yeah yeah but look what you did all this all the all the Russians and they will bring you a, a list all this number of this destruction was done with your weapons and you supply these criminals with those weapons and they killed us so you are responsible. So you pay up. So that's how it's going to, it's going to be a blaming thing, like, like, a, like a kindergarten uh, um, argument, or you know, between two kids or three kids. That that's how they are. That's how we are. If we get to that, we we, we descend to that level. You know, are you owe me. I owe you. Look at this. Look at that. It's unbelievable. And they might look at things that you're like, <laughs> really, you're gonna bring that up? Yeah, we're gonna bring that up because it works in court. Every little weasel move. You don't have honor you do whatever you need to do you're gonna show oh look uh, this guy uh, Schultz cheated on his uh, wife during the war mm -mm -mm. or I don't know he's a whatever you, you can say you know destroy the guy's character as if you know hey since he's like this or like that like that has no credibility he's a weasel he's blackmailed by those guys that's why he made his decisions hey German public that's why you are led by this all these things uh, true or not true uh, will be revealed in times of uh, need and uh, unfortunately this is uh, low but hey when you're uh, threatened with uh, you know your existence is threatened then you uh, go down to any any kind of weasel moves to obviously cling to your life so the Briti the great Brit great britain is not involved in this war but provides my enemy with uh, weapons that are gonna kill me that uh, is probably the Russian uh, version of events and the actions these guys are uh, making or pursuing thank you very much for uh, being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just